Hello and welcome to the Retrain Back Pain webinar workshop live stream. I am your host and presenter, Deneen Vigiano, and today we are webinar workshopping on the topic of the top three secrets to relieving back pain. And so we're going to talk a little bit about back pain, and then we're going to go right into some questions and some information about my Back Rehab Boss online program. So thank you, everyone, for showing up. I see you in there. Welcome, welcome. Lots of familiar faces, and I'm happy to see. Uh, can you just type in the chat box uh, on the webinar? We're also live streaming on YouTube, so you know. Um, but just type in the chat box that you can hear me. I know I'm not talking into the abyss. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. Hey, Jen. Wonderful. So we're going to get going and uh, I know your time is valuable. So here we go. I'm going to pop up some slides and we're going to hop right into it. Please also confirm that you see the current slide up on the screen. Great. Here we go. So um, many of you that follow me and know my work um, may be a little confused about like what to do, what to do next, what's safe to do, what's not safe to do with back pain. So the slide I have up is just a little kind of a foggy gray area where you're out there in the woods and you're just looking for a path. You just need to find where other people have gone, something that's worked that you can follow. And so that's what we're all about for this webinar. So let me know if this sounds like you. If you've got back pain and you wanna be able to make it go away, you're in the right place. If you've been to the doctor and a whole bunch of other clinicians and therapists, but it didn't seem to help and you're sort of at wit's end, you're in the right place. If you would like to feel confident when you sit, when you stand for a while, while you're sleeping, get a good night's rest, lifting, carrying things, and moving through your everyday life, this is the place for you. And if you're the uh, what can I do for myself, go-getter kind of person, then we're, we're talking the same language. Um, also, if you work with people with back pain, so if you are a personal trainer, yoga teacher, Pilates teacher, manual therapist, um, this is also uh, good for anyone working with back pain populations. So today's workshop agenda is um, to help you avoid unnecessary and painful mistakes, help you realize that you can master tons of pain relieving techniques without addictive drugs or frustrating doctor visits cross town. We'll talk about the secret breakthrough model, which easily moves you from, I don't know what's going on to I've totally got this regardless of what it is. And we're going to talk about the three core elements, retrain back pain methodology, which teaches you to become your own back rehab boss, so that you can get back to moving the way you love to move as soon as possible. And we will provide you with, I will provide you with immediately actionable items to inform you about how you can break the cycle of pain. So unfortunately, uh, as we all know, if you've had back pain, the low back rehab journey is not a straight line. It can be really frustrating and squiggly, and there can be setbacks for long periods of time, and it's easy to get discouraged. One of the problems is that when we're dealing with pain, for a protracted period of time, we aren't really thinking clearly and um, we're pretty hard on ourselves, like we're not doing enough or we can't figure it out or we were fine for a while and now the pains come back. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Um, even just trying to find the right um, care provider or clinician is often a, a, a difficult task. Right. So when we're in pain, it's just it's just hard to discern um, decision making and keeping on top of things, uh, especially when it seems like nothing's working. So really quickly, before we get going, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to do a quick intro of myself. Uh, my professional background is that I am a back fit pro with Dr. Stu McGill. 
who is one of the foremost uh, back rehab experts here in North America. He's based out of Western Canada. I've been a tune-up fitness senior teacher trainer for 14 years, 13 years. I'm a certified nutrition coach, certified holistic health coach, a Yoga Alliance certified uh, continuing education provider, also with International Association of Yoga Teachers, continuing ed provider, and I'm a neurokinetic therapy level three practitioner and a craniosacral therapy level two practitioner. That's all to say that I've been doing this a really long time and uh, 23 years to be exact, various forms of therapeutic therapeutic assistance for people in discomfort and pain, trying to recreate flow, right? And so everything that I've done, everything that I've learned at this point has been shaken out through the lens of how is this gonna help people with back pain? And by the way, I live in New York City. So if you hear sirens in the background, part and parcel of my life here. Um, and then on a personal level, you know, my spinal diagnoses that I've, I've been granted uh, are quite extensive, right? I'm not just an academic, but I am a back pain survivor. And not just a survivor, I'm a back pain thriver, which is why I'm doing the work that I'm doing, um, because the work works, right? I've got all these things listed here that are quite dire sounding, and they were dire feeling when I was at my worst in back pain, but I'm super active. I go out dancing all the time here in New York City. I just started roller skating this year. I'm a snowboarder, a cyclist. I lift weights. Every once in a while I go jogging, but that's not really my bag, right? So I'm active and I have no pain, zero, despite having a diagnosis of level grade one, two spondylolisthesis, three, uh, discs that have degenerative disc disease, several herniations, four of them. The spondy is related to a pars fracture. Spondy is when one vertebral body, the actual bones of your spine move out of place, right? And that is often related to um, disc degeneration and or pars fractures or both. I also had at least one end plate fracture, the, the top and bottom part of your bony um, spinal segments are called end plates. And so there was a, a rupture and an infection causing modic changes in that. And uh, three scolioses and um, sacroiliac compression. So that's my uh, back related history. And part of the reason why I'm doing the work that I'm doing and presenting this workshop to you today is because around 2008, uh, I was a fairly new mom. That's my son. He just turned 17, by the way. But it was real cute when he was little. And um, I was at my worst with back pain around this time. And I remember we were living in a different apartment, and it was a pre-war New York City apartment. I'm just going to stop sharing for a sec while um, sharing. So as I was saying, we were living in a pre-war New York City apartment and it was kind of drafty. And I remember my son was sitting on the floor and he was playing cars and trucks. And I had just sort of finished buzzing around on the kitchen doing something or other. And I went over to him and I was like about to go sit down on the floor so I could hang out and play with him. And then I was like, oh no, I can't do that. If I sit on this drafty floor, it was December, or the snow was falling, or January or something. Just remember, it was snowing, and it was cold. Um, and I wouldn't sit on the floor and play with my kid, my toddler, because I knew that if I sit on this drafty floor, I'll be paying for it for probably months. I'll be debilitated for months just from sitting on the floor. And that was, that was a big moment for me. That was a moment where I sort of stopped in my tracks and realized how I was limiting myself, how my back pain was limiting me, how it was changing my life. My activities were getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And in that moment, I realized I am disabled. I am unable to do the things that I want to do, and I am getting worse. And at that point, I had spent several thousand dollars, and I chased all sorts of 
therapeutic modalities around New York City and none of it was helping. And I had a bazillion questions and I had no one to ask. And so it was in that moment of not being able to play with my young toddler on the floor that I decided I have, I have to do something different. Because if I'm doing what everybody else is telling me I should be doing and it's not helping, there's got to be a better way. And so that's why I started um, finding the better way. That's why I started finding the answers that I needed to find. And I created Retrain Back Pain out of that moment. So let's go back to sharing, sharing my lovely slideshow. So here's, this is the Retrain Back Pain journey. Um, so many people are, at some point you're at the bottom of this pyramid, right? So you experience pain and on the left side are your feelings and on, on the right side of the pyramid, this is the impact that it has on your life. And so when you're in pain, your emotion or your feeling is a lot of fear. Can't read this without my glasses. And the impact it has on your life is often blame. And if you're like me, you're probably blaming yourself most of the time, for not being able to figure it out, for not getting better, or getting better and then getting worse again, having a setback. So if you're lucky enough to move from pain into some passive therapy, um, passive therapy is uh, anything that somebody else is doing to you. So massage, going for a massage, going for acupuncture, um, chiropractic treatments, those are all passive therapies. It doesn't mean that they're bad. It just, that's the type of therapy it is where you go in, somebody does their thing to you. And the feeling is maybe temporary relief. Like maybe you feel better when you're on the table or right when you get home. But the impact on, depending on passive therapy is stagnation. You're not really getting any better. You're not really learning anything. You're not really moving forward. You're just sort of sticking some bubble gum in the hole on the side of the dam and hoping the whole dam doesn't break down and you don't become like wheelchair bound. Is at some point I was feeling like, oh, I'm just, I'm not gonna be able to walk soon. So moving upwards in the trajectory from passive therapy is active therapy. And so we've all been here too, right? You're like, oh, I know I have to keep moving. So I'm going to stretch or I'm going to go do a yoga class or I'm going to get on my bike or I'm going to walk um, through Central Park, right? So you, you move into active therapies where you're exercising or you're actively doing for yourself. And it may feel better, but very often we come out of an, uh, an active therapy session or a period of time where you're, we're engaging in active therapy and we come out feeling confused because we don't really know if we're doing something that's going to make us worse or it's if it's going to make us better. We're sort of doing it because we feel like we need to stay active, but we don't really have the guidelines or the support or somebody to check in with and say, hey, is, I've got this, this, and this going on in my back. Is it okay if I do sit-ups? Probably not is the answer, by the way. Sit-ups are a terrible exercise for your back. Um, and the impact that that confusion of actively moving and not knowing if it's the right way is indecision. And then the further impact of the indecision is I'm just not going to do anything at all because I don't want to end up worse than I am now, right? I don't want to piss off my back, so I'm not going to do anything at all. You been there? Give me a, give me a yes in the chat box. If you've done some active therapy, you've done some exercises and then been like, I, I got hurt. I'm not going to do it again. So then um, further up this pyramid where you start to see um, a little more clarity, some balance and some confidence, this is where we get some structure, some integration and some self-efficacy. And this is, I, I teach you all of these things. I teach you about pain. I teach you about how and when to use passive therapies and which active therapies are right for your situation. And then we move into some structure, which offers you clarity and control. We integrate it into your daily life, whether you are a um, construction contractor or you're an architect or you're an opera singer or you're a golf player or you're a mom or 
you sit at a desk for too many hours during the day, we integrate whatever your lifestyle is, we'll find a way to make it better so that it's not pissing off your back as much. And we'll find a way to get you moving again so that you can start to get stronger and build endurance and build confidence. And self-efficacy. So for those of you that don't know, self-efficacy is doing for yourself. It's becoming a back rehab boss. That's when you're self, self-efficacious. And that gives you the feeling of confidence. And the impact is that you are empowered to take care of yourself. Beautiful thing. So let's talk about the old way of treating back pain. And really, it's not really the old way. It's this is really the current way. This is what's happening now. If you meet somebody with back pain, generally they go to their doctor or um, before they go to their doctor, they do something passive like massage or they go see a chiropractor uh, or they'll take some, some pain pills or some Advil, right? You'll, See if something taken by the mouth is going to make the pain go away. Sometimes your primary doctor, I was just out with some friends, one of whom is a doctor and um, his sister-in-law was there and she's like, Oh, I'm so happy to see you because I, you know, my back started hurting me. And I went, I saw doctor, our friend, and um, he gave me some anti-inflammatories and some anti-spasmodics and it sort of helped. So that's what happens when you go to a doctor and you have back pain. Um, If you're lucky, they'll write you a prescription for something that's not going to kill you. If you're unlucky, we're not going to go there right now. But anyway, so, so, so this is, this is the path. Maybe somebody uh, refers you to an orthopedist. Maybe the orthopedist says, let's refer you to a surgeon. So let me just pause for a second because the number one mistake, one of the one of the painful mistakes we make with back pain is depending too heavily on passive therapies, right? Another mistake we make with back pain is depending too heavily on doctors to have the answers, have a diagnosis. And then to expect that a diagnosis is going to lead to a successful treatment. We expect that when we go to a doctor, we get a diagnosis. And when we get a diagnosis, we're going to get better. That's not always the case. So being dependent upon them and expecting that is not really fair because that's often not really the way that it works out with back pain, right? Um, If you get referred to a surgeon, that surgeon has one big tool in their toolbox, and it's a knife. And if you go see a surgeon, they are going to see, is there an opportunity to operate or not? And that's their job. Their job is not to tell you, sometimes they will, but their job is not really to tell you that there's non-surgical options and you should exhaust all of the non-surgical options before you go to a surgery because the re-injury rate and the um, the rate of having to have a second surgery once you've had the first surgery is astronomical. Each subsequent surgery you have increases your likelihood that you're going to need another surgery sooner and faster. Um, So all of these things at the top of this list here, primary doctor, passive therapies, opioids, surgeries, or multiple surgeries, they all sort of lead to, you know, further isolation, further sense of failure, and depression is highly correlated for people who have been in pain for a while. And it's this thing called the pain spiral. You know, the less you move, the weaker you get, the weaker you get, the more pain you feel. And the more depressed you might be, the more isolated you might become because you're not participating in going for bike rides or hanging out with friends anymore. So we don't want to end up in the pain spiral and then to end up so weak and isolated that we're miserable. And if you are there, I'm hoping that this um, time together is going to give you some other ideas about how to, how to dig out of it. The old way or the current way of dealing with back pain is the problem is that you there's conflicting information, right? So if you go see five different doctors or five different clinicians, you're going to get five different theories about why your back hurts. 
And you're going to get, if you're lucky, you'll get five different suggestions about what you might do about it. There is no right way and there is no um, one answer. So there's a, there's a, it's sort of a bifurcation of there's conflicting information and then there's a, a lack of information. You might not even know exactly why your back is hurting you. Or you might have, uh, like me, you might have a scan or some sort of medical imaging and radiology report, and then you go chasing those diagnoses that are in that radiology report, and it's not even the cause of your pain. Pain is caused by something else that wasn't reported in the radiology report. It happens often. So just because it shows that something's broken in an image doesn't mean that that is what is causing your pain. And it is possible radiologists may not report on some other issues in, in their reading of your images. Um, absence of a linear process. You know, once you go see somebody and they say, do X, Y, Z, then what? Where are you going to? What is the long range goal? What is the plan to get there? Who needs to be involved in the plan? How much work do you need to do? How much support do you need to do? Where's the accountability? Where's, I mean, so you get the idea, right? We're, we're tasked with figuring out what am I going to do for my back pain, but the industry is not helping us at all. I'm going on a bit of a rant here. The other problem with common back pain solutions is that they are not integrated and they are not holistic. And most of them are mechanistic, meaning treating you like a machine, like there's a mechanical error and you have a herniated disc, for example. We are going to do this, this, and this because your disc is extruded. Your level of pain or your perception of noxious stimuli or pain does not correlate to how much you are broken or how many things are not working well in your spine. Um, and this whole, this whole thing that I've described is it's one big system of just rampant disempowerment. You just don't have the information. You can't possibly take the best care of yourself and get rid of your back pain because nobody's connecting all the dots, right? So now let's talk about the better way, which is what I've named between the way that I do business with my clients who have back pain. And so um, there's something called the biocycle psychosocial model of pain management. So mechanistic is more about, you know, this is, this is herniated or you have some narrowing in your spinal canal. So do these three exercises. It's like an if then approach based on a, a mechanical um, error or dysfunction or um, suboptimal uh, movement pattern or something. That's all mechanistic um, treatment of back pain. This other way, biopsychosocial, if you see within the circles, you can see that it really takes into account a little bit more of you as a whole person, particularly as it relates to or psycho emotional well being and your social constructs of who do you live with and are they supportive? Um, so, the biopsychosocial mo model is very helpful when used in conjunction with a mechanistic model. And there are many PTs, physical therapists, physios, who are using both biopsychosocial and mechanistic approaches. And it's quite, it's quite effective. This is retrain back pain, and these are just some of the many modalities, disciplines that I've trained in that I integrate into my programming with my clients and my Back Rehab Boss online program. Treating you like a whole person in a holistic and integrated way. So this goes back, this is sort of like the other diagram that we had, and if you had to plot yourself right now on this graph, where would you be? Are you doing a lot of passive therapies and sort of stuck in the fear dynamic? Like, I just, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to do anything at all. Or are you more active and starting to feel more freedom and more space in your life? 
because the upper right quadrant is where we start to get back to moving like we used to be able to move. So um, retrain back pain is based on three core elements. It's based on retraining how you think, how you eat, how you move. And um, you can see on the outer part of this circle here that these within the three core elements, there's also three core sub elements of each element. And so what's different about uh, the way I'm working with you and working with my other clients is that there's a strategy, there's linear planning. I give you a roadmap, we do goal setting. It's mostly active therapies and it's all based on empowering you to learn about yourself and pain and movement and posture and breathing and all kinds of things that are super integrated so that you become your own expert. And the program um, Retrain Back Pain is a structured program that includes assessments and accountability and support based on teamwork, collaborative coaching between us and um, if you're in the group program, your, your group colleagues. And when we use this method and when we start to treat your body as a whole structure, your body and your mind and your psychosocial um, constructs and take all of that stuff into consideration and make the plan of rehabilitation less about do these three exercises 12 times for three sets and it's more about let's get your lifestyle working better let's get you to a place where you can achieve your goals and there's a clear plan and a clear clear way to get there and so you know once we understand that pain is not an indication of brokenness that it's a complex process involving perception emotion memory movement posture breathing and nutrition among other things there's still more things then we have the power to change our relationship to pain and that's when the real healing begins so this is, um, I mentioned in the advert for this workshop that there's, you know, the breakthrough process. And here it is. The breakthrough process is just going step by step, step by step, and starting to integrate a little bit of everything, whole bunch of lifestyle change in incremental bits with support and information and education um, so that you can start to move forward, which is a great transition to the back rehab boss. So retrain back pain is the name of, of the company and the method back rehab boss. This is the name of my online training program, online course. And so I work with clients one-to-one -one, and I also have this course that is made available to groups of people. And just so we're all clear, I didn't really advertise for this webinar today. I just sort of put out one email and made a couple of posts on social media, not that much. And I have to tell you before I get into describing the back rehab boss program, that this is as close as you're going to get to having dedicated one-on-one -on -one with me, because there's not that many people that are being, that are going to sign up for this program. It was a very small group of people who are at my 11 o'clock and it's not that big of a group of people who are on this seven o'clock call. So this is going to be one of the smallest groups that I'm ever going to teach in back rehab boss. So if you really want some one-on-one -on -one attention, um, this is going to be like a semi, it's going to be like a semi private training group, just so you know, but it's not for everyone. Right. And so I really, I'm looking for people who are really highly motivated to change their lifestyle, who are, um, looking forward to getting active again as a top priority who are really like, I want to figure it out for myself kind of people. If you, if you know deep in your heart that this could be going better, if you had the right information, if you had the right team, if you had a cohesive plan and you had support, you had somebody holding your hand when you run into roadblocks and redirecting you in a productive way again, then this is, this is a great program for people like you and I. Um, the feedback from clients has been fabulous. And as a special treat, 
Um, somebody who did Back Rehab Boss and did a bunch of one-to-ones with me is on the call with us today. So I am going to try and figure out. Okay, so I'm going to bring Kathy Zodiaco. Let's make sure I do this correctly. I'm going to bring Kathy in. And we're going to have a little chat with Kathy about her experience in becoming a back rehab boss. So Kathy, I've invited you. Okay, Kathy, are you there? Are you going to join us? She's coming. Ta-da, the big reveal. Ta-da, Kathy Zodiaco. Hi, well, Thank Janine. you so much for um, coming to this um, webinar workshop and thank you for offering um, yourself and your experience for other people who might be interested in working with me either one-on-one -on -one or as a Back Rehab Boss um, online program participant. Will you kindly um, give us just a brief idea of the dark place that you were in when we met? Don't make it too um, gruesome. Okay. I, uh, I was in a lot of pain. I was in so much pain from my spondylithiosis, which I'm still not great with, but spondy. I had a back fusion and an abdominal surgery. And it it was just this great confluence of events that created this spondy, which was creating so much pain for me. And something else I was dealing with was an arthritic hip. And I had made the decision before meeting you, before knowing you existed, to have a hip replacement surgery. So when you and I met, I was really questioning if I was, had I had I made a mistake? Was I ever going to get better? Was it even possible to live a life with all of the conditions I was experiencing? I mean, I even before the hip replacement, I was to the point where I was not leaving my house and I was unable to make myself three meals a day. I could get two done, but I, I could not get that third one. Yeah, you were you were dealing with a lot of factors and you were dealing with a lot of it on your own. And um you know, I just want to say for a moment here that there's a lot of there the people that I work with are not the weekend warriors who like did too much tough mutter racing or crossfit and pulled their back because they're too fit and they did too much exercise. That's generally not my demographic. My demographic is people very similar to what Kathy just narrated, who have multiple situations happening either in their spine or in multiple joint areas. And um, they're in pain and they've been in pain for a while. And um, very often they haven't had good experiences with their medical practitioners. I was so fighting with them. I was okay. fighting with them. Yeah, I, if I had a, a, a quarter for every time you said, you, I hate doctors, um, I'd probably be able to take myself out to dinner tonight. Boy, have things changed. Tell us about that. Well, one of the things that, I mean, you really, I mean, I was willing. I was really willing. But the things that you said to me, really, they got into my brain and they changed my perspective. And so one of the things that you and I talked about was me becoming the leader of my medical team and stepping into the leadership role, which reoriented me entirely. And so I now, I now have a team of physicians and medical experts who, who under my leadership, <laughs> help me maintain my now active lifestyle. Amazing. That's so And they love that's it. Just and they love it. I mean, it's so cool when I wa I went and I saw my my hip orthopedic surgeon yesterday. He high high fives me. He's like, "What's going on?" And I'm telling him, "Look, I got chi and I did a back coach." And I'm like, "He's like, this is the 
It's entirely opposite now. And he even said to me, yeah, you got to stay away from those surgeons. They just want to operate on you and you don't need any more surgeries. So it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And I, I now tell my physical therapist my goals. That's hey, right. here are my goals. What, what do you think about that? Is that something you could help me with? It's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, we talk a lot about, you know, the exercises and the breathing and learning about pain. And one of the areas that I actually don't even mention about the back rehab boss is what you and I are talking about right now, is that in the think section of the course, there is a section called assemble your team. And this sort of transition that Kathy's narrating about how she's now um, interacting with her medical professionals in a very different way this falls under the think section and assembling your team. Um, and it is a really valuable skill of knowing how to um, interact with your medical professionals and your clinicians so that you get better outcomes. So way to go, Kathy. I'm so, I'm so impressed and so proud and so inspired by you. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. Well, right back at you. I mean, I wouldn't be here if we hadn't worked together. I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that was happening when we met was um, you have your gorgeous dog hmm? um, and she was not very happy because you weren't, you used to go out on bike rides and go out on long walks with her and you weren't really doing that anymore. And if I remember correctly, you were having difficulty, you weren't able to walk around your block without stopping several times. Is that correct? <laughs> this is like, I don't even realize how I was living. I literally carried a, a, one of those folding stools with me. It's about this big and, you know, about that wide. And it would go in a purse or it would go in a backpack. I was literally. Kathy, your audio is breaking up for some oh, reason. Sorry. I wonder if I should use the microphone. Is that improving it at all? It's still, it's still uh, choppy, but go ahead. Let's see. Try not to move. Okay. Do you know how hard that is for me? Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's not movement. Go ahead. Um, I forgot the question. Uh, walking around the block and how- I carried a stool. I literally carried a, a portable stool with me and I would rip that sucker out plop it down and then sit my butt down on it. I would do that everywhere. Every, I mean, in the middle of a park, I would go to meet girlfriends for coffee and couldn't make the walk to the coffee shop from the park without my stool, sit my butt down in the middle of the parking lot. It was awkward, but I wasn't able to live. And so it was just, what are you gonna do? I kept coming up with solutions. Yeah, and one of your solutions was us working together, thank goodness, because now you're out, you're going for hikes, you're going for bike rides, and you've restarted your business, and there's all sorts of really exciting things going on for you now, right? There are, and what I really have come to see is that while I would prefer none of any of this to have happened, it all has really invited me into, I don't know, I don't know, something new. I mean, I get to see how strong I am, how capable I am, and it doesn't matter. Like, I have to carry these conditions through life, but it, I'm almost proud to now, if that makes any sense. So, thank it's you. Nice. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on today and sharing your experience. I'm going to have to cut short because your audio is almost... Um... Sorry. It's not working out so good, but I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so happy that you're thriving and um, we will talk on the outside. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Whoops. I don't know exactly how to get you off of here. That's a problem. Okay. Great. So I hope that was helpful. I'm sorry about the audio disruption, but you know, she's had, a, Kathy's had an amazing, amazing uh, transition from where she was to where she is. Um, and she was a multiple surgical survivor and she was in a really, really, really bad place when we met. Um, and she did actually get worse right when we started working together um, and then came through that and is truly inspiring. So. 
Uh, so we're going to move on to talking about the back rehab boss and um, and so these are the course modules, right? So the first section is think there's 25 chapters. We talk about how to reframe your pain brain. So how, how to move more healthfully around pain. We talk about retrain spine hygiene and relearn everyday activities. So we learn to reduce pain triggers and clean up your everyday movement habits. In module two, there's 10 chapters. There's, which focus mostly, this is more about, it's called eat, but it, it's really a lifestyle, um, a lifestyle retraining. And that involves 10 chapters focused on nutrition, hydration, sleep, and rest. And then the last module is the move module. And in here, we've got 14 full chapters on breathing and eight chapters on therapeutic rollouts. We've got four essential moves classes. And these are really my sort of instructional how instructional exercise videos on how to move, how to do the exercises I am going to show you. And so there's one where you're on your back, there's one where you're on your abdomen, there's one where you're on all fours, hands and knees, and then there's one standing, and those are called the essentials. And then the essentials are broken up into creative classes, sort of um, interval style classes, and those are called the spicy classes. And all of the classes, uh, class videos are like 10 or 12 minutes. Um, and so there's five spicy classes and four essential moves. So it's a total of nine um, exercise, vi exercise videos, not including the breathing and the rollouts. So the, the course is set up, uh, there's a lot of videos. All of the videos are, all of the instructional videos are like a minute or maybe I think the longest instructional video is three minutes. Um, some of them have instructional video and then a little blur beneath. A couple of them have a handout. Um, and then the videos down here are, are created so that you can use them as your guideline, as your daily practice. How much does the Back Rehab Boss cost? This particular um, launch of this course so we're in October of 2022 right now, is um, you can make three payments of $200 or a single payment of $557. Um, we are only opening this course from now until Friday. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, um, I didn't advertise. I didn't have a lot, of, um, a lot of participants on the webinars. I don't expect have a large group at all. I expect it to be very intimate and um, sort of like a semi-private group. So if you want to work with me, but don't want to spend the money to do the one-to-ones, um, you can come in as a back rehab bosser in this semi-private um, situation. And that may work out to you, work out well for you. In addition to um, the back rehab boss program, which I just walked through with you, uh, I'm also offering you these bonuses just for this period of time. So the next time I offer it, I'll probably have different bonuses. Um, offering six weeks of group coaching. So we'll do those on Zoom. I say that the course is six weeks, but um, in one of my previous courses, one gentleman did the entire course in the first night, the night he registered. So he got through the whole course in one night. He sort of binged it. Um, and he was very, very dedicated and very committed to not having back pain anymore and to get back to his golf game, which he did for sure. He got back to his golf game. He got back to his yoga classes. He got back to everything he wanted to as a new retiree. Um, but we'll be doing six weeks of group coaching. It'll happen every week for uh, 45 minutes, probably an hour. And then all of those group coaching sessions will be recorded and all of those replays will go on your private support group. So that is not a Facebook group. That is a dedicated group just for our training, just for this month, just for this six weeks. It'll only be the people that sign up for this red, this course right now between today and Friday. And the support group is great because I'm in there twice a day. And so you get all your questions answered pretty much in real time. Plus you get to interact with um, other people that are taking the course. If there are any other people taking the course this month, um, and then everyone that comes in to this Back Rehab Boss program for this particular training period 
we're going to have a live coaching session. So we'll meet on Zoom. You can tell me all about what's going on for you. I'll know exactly what is happening and exactly what your issues are so that when we have our group coaching, I can speak directly to you in those sessions, right? So um, I'll know if you have stenosis or I'll know if you have difficulties um, bending over or not sleeping through the night, right? And we can address that during the group coaching sessions once we have our live onboarding. You'll also get a daily practice calendar to map out which exercises you'll do when over the period of six weeks and a back rehab, back rehab boss roadmap. So the total value of all these things added up is nearly $3,000 and the course is $557. So just the bonuses are worth the price of the course. And then to make it even more alluring, the first five registrants to come into Back Rehab Boss between today, Wednesday, October 12th, and about 1130 on Friday, October 14th, the first five people to show up and register will also get an additional individualized one-to-one -one coaching session with me. So for free, if you sign up between today and Friday, you're going to get another free session with me. So that'll add up to two individualized one-to-one -one coaching sessions with me if you sign up between today and Friday. And by the way, if you're going to sign up, don't wait until Friday because then you'll lose the bonus. So one last time, that's what it looks like. The link for this, I'm gonna put up in the chat box right now. It's basically bit.ly, bit.ly backslash back rehab boss. So let me go ahead and pop that in the chat right now. It's up. You can either click on it or copy paste it. If you can't, if you're unable to click on it, registration is currently open. Um, one disclaimer here on registration and, and the course and the emails and everything. I'm trying really hard to be a um, technology guru here with videos and webinars and emails and stuff. Um, things are gonna go wrong. You may get duplicate emails or the, you might get to the registration page. For all I know, it may not work. So um, a little grace for Deneen here, doing the best I can with the technology. If you have any difficulties, just send me an email and just let me know and I'll fix it. I'd really appreciate knowing when something's not working. So it could seem um, kind of scary for you to be considering uh, doing another program, doing a program like this. Um, particularly if you've already spent some money on trying to fix your back up until now and nothing's worked, I totally understand that you might be at the point where you're like, I give up. I'm not going to spend any more money. I'm just going to figure it out. But I want you to think about if you keep doing exactly what you've been doing for another six months, for another year, are you going to get a different result? So if you haven't found something that works yet, but you're going to keep trying to figure it out on your own, it's only going to delay your recovery. You can't play it safe and not do the thing that you think is going to help you because you think you can figure it out on your own, or you think you can save 500 bucks. Think about how much you're going to spend on your back, how much it's going to cost you in just your sanity and your family and your work and your social life, not to mention how much it's going to cost you in braces and shoes and orthotics and massages and Theraguns and all sorts of other things. Over time, you sort of throwing spaghetti on the wall and trying to figure this out will be more expensive to you in time and in money than signing up for this course and having everything you need to know about back pain and relieving back pain, preventing back pain and managing back pain like a boss in six weeks. And then you'll have this information for the rest of your life and you can help other people with it. 
because you're going to know so much about how to, how to move through this in this integrated holistic way. So that's my spiel on um, trying to go it alone. I don't advise it. All of the, all of my periods of the greatest growth, both, both in my professional life um, and in my rehabilitative life have been going out on a limb where I felt really uncomfortable like I wasn't sure if I should do it and I wasn't sure if I had the money and I wasn't sure if I was going to get the results. Um, and even if I didn't, didn't get the results that I thought I was going to get, uh, the amount of growth that you do with a coach is far beyond anything that you're going to do by yourself doing the same thing that you've been doing for another six weeks. So um, I encourage you to come on into the, into the course. You've got nothing to lose. Six weeks, 10 minutes a day. $557. It is quite literally the bargain of the year. Um, and this course will be slightly reorganized and um, most likely the price will go up the next time you see it. So it's the last time you're going to get it at this price and definitely the last time you're going to get it with this few people in it. So I really want to encourage you to, to, to make the jump. Okay, um, for whoever is remaining on the webinar, does anybody have any questions before we wrap this up? Any last minute questions? Okay, I thank you all for your time, whether you're watching live or you're watching recorded, I appreciate you. I appreciate you making the time in your life to consider doing something new or consider um, retraining back pain in this way. And um, whether you come in the program or not, I am a resource for you. You can find me as Retrain Back Pain on all the social media platforms. And again, my name is Deneen, and uh, I know we can do this together. So 